some of these that will fit like that. Some of them won't. I don't think it will on this one. It's kind of a thinner. It's kind of filled in the way the plate sticks up and let it recess. So with this, I'll do the old fashioned way. Try to do as much as I can on camera. I use a scribe the pen so I know exactly where it was when I first got it, took it apart. There's that little fun. There's I already have a key to this lock and just trying to show this little handy little uh, kit. So and this bidding is eight seven five four seven. And I know it'd be true, of course, because it works. We're not gonna check for master pins or anything. But I just want kinda wanted to show this. And if you're careful, try not to lose all your parts, which usually I do, so. There, you can get out of order. You have five grooves, or seven, six grooves actually. I bought this little kit just for fun. It was kind of a novelty item, but uh, I'm not gonna check for master pins. There's one thing I would change on this, maybe, you might add a flat spot which I'll just file it there's no point in it and I only do that because you want to have a way to check for master wafers and uh, master pins I mean and uh, you know figure out your thickest master wafer and just take off that much use a file if you go too much then it makes it hard to spin it back to where you can you know you push all your pins back in so there's that and then uh, I'll go ahead and keep back up It's just a little novelty item. Seen this on Etsy. Kind of a neat thing being able to do all the 3D printing. And I like that this pen, it's not so deep that you can't get your tweezers, tweezers in there and grab a pen. I was able to grab those without having to push it down and finagle it around. So let me put this back in here. Okay. Careful pulling that out so you don't pull out the plug and dump the pins. Occasionally I do that. It's crazy. And I'll usually use the whole thing to push down on the pin. Get it down to about where I want it, which for me right about there. And I'll turn it and I'm all right on the money. So that's that. Like I said, this is universal. It will work on several different style cylinders. It would not work on this one. And you can tell because this has a piece that's raised, so you won't flush into that. This one here is recessed enough to where it can go flush into that. So as you can see, it does dig into that. And then you can spin it. So it will work on some of them. It's not a design flaw. It's just a, a difference in all the different cylinders. And I will probably get a file and I'll just like file a little flat maybe on like one of these sides here because I wouldn't normally go into a cylinder in this way because uh, of course it would, uh, you know, pins and springs would fall through. You would go like this. So what I would do is file, put a little flat spot right here so I can check for master pins. But I tried to do this video just a little while ago and it, I ran into a master pin and when I was looking, uh, to the rest of them it popped out and it's like well it kind of sucks you have to go all the way back through sometimes when you get down into the cylinder you try to hold them down they'll still pop out sometimes the whole pin so anyways i went ahead and decided to redo the video this is not a perfect scenario perfect world type of penning kit but for a novelty item i mean just have the things you need grab you a couple things uh you know uh throw some shims in there if you need to a key blank uh and I, I'll tell you, there is nothing that rattles around. That sits flush in there, and that sits flush on there. As you can see, it's it's tight. When you do this, if you put pins in there, you can shake it around. Those pins are not going to fall out of, the, out of the different slots that are right here. And you can leave this in place, or you can pull it out. Unless you need to probably just keep it 
the more you move stuff around, the harder it is. You could probably store some extra pins in here, and, and I would do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in your depths, and maybe zero, one, two, three, you know, even get you a little stamp and stamp the number on there or something, you know, down in the bottom. But you can have as many pins as you want. They just won't be like in an order. And I, let me grab this other one here. I have a, bought one of these too from another source. And it's tight too. And it's, you can put pins in this and this whole thing pops out. This one here, and it's like really, I bought the Altoids 10 and you can buy just random tins with nothing on them, you know, blanks. But uh, once you press that in, it stays and it's a tight seal. I would probably still put a, cut me a card or something that'll fit in there just to hold it. You know, and then, yeah, that, there's not, no pins are gonna be spilling in there, but you can put a, I mean, how many slots? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you got seven, 14 slots. Kind of neat. This one here, with all the different uh, pieces, I bought through uh, this place here, Seven Star Fabrication, uh, Seven Star Altoids 10. You can use for pills, uh, any little knick-knack things you'd like to keep. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a little pin kit. I bought two of them actually. One's are gonna be Schlag, the other's gonna be Quick Set. This one here, I bought two of these. Uh, one for my son, one for me. Uh, he's doing a locksmith course, and I'm not gonna trust him with a whole assortment of stuff. So, not this not that I don't trust him, but I don't want him to worry about losing stuff. So I, I keep it simple. And this will I absolutely keep it simple. And uh, you can probably get you some of those little tweezers, little plastic ones. Or even some of these, you know, I've, I've got a whole assortment of tweezers that are smaller and just leave them in here. Uh, I'd throw some shims in there and wouldn't hurt to have some shims in there. And I like that this is kind of loose because it allows you to pull it out if you need to. Which, you know, you can't do with the other one. And this is not something you're going to want to get crazy, you know. I would never take this and have that be my only source of uh, re-keying. I usually have a uh, whole... Thing here. This is my rekeying source right here. I, you know, for every big rekey job I go to, I'm gonna have all this stuff on here. So I got all kinds of, I got cradles, I've got all kinds of different followers. Uh, I love this one here. I got a million different ones. I got some of these for the pushing the pins in. I got plug holders like this, you know, to clamp them in a vise. Uh, I always keep this in here. But, but, uh, you know, for the sake of uh, having just like a little novelty thing, I can keep with my Pack-A-Punch kit or my uh, my my HPC punch. This is actually a pretty cool little deal, and they're not that expensive. I mean, pretty cheap on Etsy. I'm going to do a screenshot here. It shows you the channel for this. And it didn't come with the Altoids can, and maybe you can get them with the can. I don't know. I just, you know, I had Altoids cans anyway, so I kept it. Went ahead and used it for that. But that's it. That's all I wanted to show on this. Just thought uh, it'd be kind of neat to keep. And you can do, uh, you can have a one for Schlag, one for Quickset, and just keep your different pins in there. Keep you a blank for shimming. Have one for uh, Quickset, one for Schlag, and have all your pins ready to go. And uh, that's it. This is not a, a serious product, I would say, you know, like you got to have it. But it's kind of neat to have. You know, if I'm just in my house now, I'm all around my big pin kit. If I have these already loaded up, so I need one for quick set, and then I get another one, and one for schlag, you know, a little double kit. But uh, but that's for the, the one with the 14 slots. They have these in different configurations too, where one big open one and a bunch of little ones uh, from this guy's place. Now I've got this on Etsy, and same with the other one. And I'll do a link for that so you can see what the link is. Anyways, that's all I had. Just wanted to do a quick video on a little gimmicky kind of cool little little product there's all kinds of weird things out there and i really i uh, thought this was kind of neat just kind of wanted it anyways talk to y'all later Bye bye